Welcome to part two of reverse prospecting. Now in this section, we're actually gonna look at this from a listing agent perspective. So let's say you have an active listing in the MLS and you want to connect with buyer agents out there who have searches in the MLS with criteria that meet your listing. You have what they want. So it's really easy to open up reverse prospect. And now you can go from your my listings and your active listings right here in the widget if you use that or if you just mouse over my matrix up at the very, very top, you can go down to my listings right here. And what you wanna do here is open up your active listings. Now you can filter your listings different ways, uh, but I recommend active listings because the reverse prospect is only gonna work from active listings. And you can only do this one at a time, so you would check the box right here. And then you have a little button that lights up at the bottom called Reverse Prospect. Now, when I hit this button, I want to see all the agents in the MLS right now with auto searches set up with criteria that meet my listing. That way I can reach out to them instead of them finding me, I can find them. So I'm going to click on Reverse Prospect here. And you can see you get all kinds of information here. And when you first come in, maybe you're not sure what these things do, but we're going to go ahead and explain it. So you hear all the agents with searches in the MLS that currently meet uh, my listing. So they're looking for me. I can see who the agent is, and then I get a reference number. Now, I'm not going to know who their customer is, but here is their reference number. If I gave this reference number to that agent, they would actually be able to connect the dots and say, hey, this is the actual customer who I did this search for, and then we can go from there. Now, pre-approved. If the agent right here has the contact in their list and they check the box in the contact that said pre-approved for a mortgage, this is letting you know that they are already pre-approved for a mortgage. The envelope, now you're not really going to see this right away, but if you actually use the built-in messaging that's in Matrix to contact them, this keeps track of who you've contacted and who you haven't contacted. So this shows up afterwards. Count, and it says it right here, right above, count. Count is the total number of properties that that particular contact has been sent. So the lower the better. The date sent is going to be the day that that property actually hit their customer's portal. So when it was actually sent to them. The folder is if that contact has gone in and rated that property as like a favorite with the heart or a possibility with the light bulb. You can actually see if their customer has already expressed interest in the property. So they're really looking for what I have here. You can see the agent's email address, their office, and their phone number right here. Now what you do with this information is really, really up to you. There are a couple different options. You have the ability, the recommended way to contact them is to click on their name and there's a built-in function in Matrix to message them. And it includes the listing. And when they actually get this email from you, it's going to have a special link so when that buyer agent clicks on it it actually takes them right into matrix and allows them to connect the dots here and see who the customer is and what the listing is for them uh, it's automated you don't have to do anything here now you can bcc yourself if you want to on the email but go ahead and draft an email put in the email body whatever you want to say to that person say hey i have what your customer's looking for hopefully we can work together and then you would click on send and we're actually going to look at a copy of that email here in a moment the other way to contact them is just pick up the phone and give them a call you can also click on the email address here now just like when you're out on the internet if you ever click on an email it's going to open up a blank email this is not really the recommended way to contact them because you have to include all the information here. You have to include the listing, who the reference number is, and all that stuff. And you have to give the buyer agent uh, some information so they can kind of put this together. So the recommended way to do this is to actually just click on their name. That's the easiest way to go ahead and contact them right from here. When you do that, that's when the envelope shows up here to keep track of who you've actually reached out to. Now the email, is going to look like this okay so here's the email right here and it just has whatever you put in the email body and then it has a custom link when the buyer agent goes in and clicks on this it takes them right into their matrix 
and shows them what listing you're talking about and has their contact right there. Then they can go from there and then reach back out to you if they want to. So I hope this helps. Reverse prospecting is a very powerful feature in Matrix. So make sure you're using this and good luck and thank you for watching this video.